This is the Exigency Roundtable. Um, I'm here with my... Uh, uh, hello, I'm Harvey James. Team friend. And this is... Hi, I'm Max. And I'm Seth. Full name? Yankshire. Full name? Evans. Seth Evans. Anyway, lads, we get straight to... Yeah. What was the first question? Um, what do you think and feel about this project before and after it was completed? But who's, who's taking the lead? Well, um... Uh, before the project, I was uh, kind of I was pretty excited to apply the knowledge I'd learned from like the the workshops, because like the story block and workshop we did, uh, uh, I don't know. I thought it would be very useful to to increase the quality of of the film <coughs> of uh, like following projects. So I was I was kind of excited to use that. I was also a bit nervous, I guess, because you know competition. You want to win, win the competition. Yeah, I thought I thought I was just excited because we can actually have the possibility to get entered into a competition. Yeah. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Um, but then we did. We got beat out uh, by waves. Talk about that then. Talk about that. Sorry. Yeah, but before this uh, project, I was also very excited. There was the prospect of the competition, mm. which uh, just raised. They made me want to work harder. Yeah. I'm glad we were ambitious yeah. with. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah. I'm glad we were ambitious as well before. That we didn't yeah. do something easy. We actually tried, like, uh, yeah. I, pushed ourselves. I, I think we planned it all well because, like Nick said, it was a step yeah. up. Yeah, we had to step up. I think we need to step up. There, there was, there I was, think there, there, was, was, was some, there was some gaps. Still missing. There's some gaps still in the. No, we to go in way too deep. No, I think not, that we should have paid more attention to working on the narrative and linking it yeah. with the shot list. Yes. Yeah. I think. Uh, that's one of the things we didn't do really, was it? Dude, like we didn't really think about the narrative as much. Well, I didn't anyway. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, you just like you just like, oh, what shots, what shots. Yeah, just cha- you know, changing yeah. the script. Yeah, my yeah. shots. Changing the script. Know. Yeah, but like I think our final product, we filmed in a bunch of different locations. We got like half of dozen actors in. Yeah, I well, think that's pretty good, especially like, comparing it to last year, yeah. where like it, w- it was like bare bones, not that yeah, good. Facts. There's a clear, we went up a level. No, we did, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that was just down to the ambition and excitement that this project created. Um, and I think as well, it is just partly because it was, I was like, I actually want to try because this is going somewhere, or it possibly can go somewhere. Um, What's the second question? I, mean, I don't think that, well, I was going to say, I don't think that it did actually turn out that well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I think my, edit, my editing was poor. Because I didn't link the shots that I had up, we had up well enough. But I think it was good. It was like good overall, but editing, I did, I did a bad edit. I know. I don't think I he don't edited. Think he bad I don't edit think it was enough. bad. He obviously didn't help the. So I, felt, <laughs> I had filmed in 4K, and that was a fucking. Oh. It's fine. Uh, the desktops can't handle, um, well, the the size of the files. But um, yeah, no, I think you you did well with what you worked with. Um, yeah, definitely. Just finish that off now. You did a it? good job. Like that's that's actually, it's just not true. You did a good job. Okay. Well, it's I think there was still not finished either. Still yeah, it's not like finished. Yeah. Still room to improve. Exactly. How did the project work in relation to the characteristics? I uh, think that I don't think our character. Our, like I don't know. The character was pretty well thought out, but there were some kind of holes in his development and the order in which the story plays. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it also the actor didn't really portray him. He wasn't the best representation yeah, no, of our main character. Also, I think we could have you know, made it easier for him through... Well, being organised. Yeah, being more, more organised and having the script. I thought some of the, 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 the side characters were kind of like shallow. Yeah, they were shallow, but, but they, 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 that, that's what their reason was, so that's yeah, the, like they, the, well, they were the, meant to be fleshed maybe out. Caitlin maybe could have had more character. No, not so much Caitlin's acting. No, no but the I, like, like, yeah, yeah, oh, she could yeah, have had the right character. That's what I mean. But, I mean. Yeah. but like, I, I don't think like the, the producer and the other character, like yeah, the they other actors, they didn't need any character, really. Yeah, I think with... We probably did need to We probably did need to flesh her out a little bit more, because at the end... include her name. Like, we, we, like, it didn't even matter yeah. that she was called Caitlin. Like, yeah. yeah, she didn't, we, we, we didn't even call her, yeah. Yeah. But the end, I think it kind of... The end, it makes sense, but also... No. It, it kind of doesn't, but if we flesh her out a little yeah. bit more, it definitely could have worked. Yeah, the narrative had some clear holes in it. It was like there was... Yeah. 
it was like there was these big blocks of information, but we didn't uh, actually link it up together yeah. in terms of like what the audience sees on screen. Yeah. But I think as well, we, we changed our script quite a lot, didn't we? Yeah. So I think that's kind of where some of the narrative fell through because we were just doing so many changes to the script and to like, yeah, the original ending is completely different. So then we had to rewrite some of the other. Yeah, I think the ending characters. we chose was better though. I know it was, it definitely actually. was. But I think next time, if we are like changing the script a lot, we really need to like go over it and check. Um, Yourself, Simon. Yeah, check and just to really see if that narrative and just like the story itself is solid. I think the, uh, the sound as well could have gone better. Not yeah. because you did anything wrong, Harvey, but because like the show, um, I don't know, there's just like, you know, not everything was recorded. We were like slow on the mm -hmm. filming day, so we kind of got fed up. And I think in hindsight, there should have been, I don't know, more detail given to like, more attention given to like the order of shots and sounds. So we could have had nicer, more organized shots and then sound that gets coverage of all the shots. Yeah, 100%. And I think as well, like some of the shots I tried didn't really work. Like the one on that um, moving tripod was just shambles, nearly man. unusable shambles. because yeah, they lit you out. Yeah, like, like no suspension and the camera was shaking. Yeah, I think, like, we didn't like look back at many shots. Yeah. Or I, I don't remember like, looking back at shots to feel like, is that good? No, yeah. We sort of just like did a shot. And yeah, like, I wasn't shot. very on the ball with lighting either. There wasn't in really a, much. In hindsight, for, I, for in the studio though, there wasn't much to yeah. light. And I think that still was that I, I, I uh, should have paid more attention to what you were doing on the camera and worked on the camera with you in order to look at how the shots were lit. Yeah. But I didn't. I just kind of was like, okay, here's a backlight. Yeah. Or a key light even. Yeah, I think as well, yeah, we, I should, we, yeah, we should have, I, I should have, but my job, I should have checked over the shots, really. Um, and I think we didn't even test out that moving tripod until on the day, yeah. did we? We were like, oh, let's just set up quickly now. So that's a bit of planning also. Yeah. We, could have, we could have done that when we came in and um, the setup day and just seen how yeah, we it also worked. had the issue with the boom, the zoom. Remember when uh, we were setting it up, the zoom wouldn't work and I'm had to come oh, help yeah. us. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah, I, I suppose the sound and uh, the, the, the camera work could have been better had we paid more attention to planning yeah. and that should should be done yeah. going forward. I think overall though it was it was solid but I think through certain like elements and certain shots that were... The house of cards. Yeah. All fell down. Yeah. Um, How did the film meet the brief and the proposal of our film? Um, I don't really think the Doesn't film... The film it's, it's completely different. Yeah, yeah it was our initial idea kind of fit the brief. Yeah, I yeah, know. But then, this one's done. Yeah. No, we changed. Because like yeah. we completely changed it. Because like, cause at the start he was just like anxious. Like you started off bad and it just gets worse. Yeah. But because it would have made a better story, we started him off like he's an arrogant prick, and then it goes to like he gets like all anxious and that, which it makes the story better. But then it doesn't fit the brief. Yeah, we didn't care. We didn't like think of the brief at all. Uh, we could have, in hindsight, we could have fit the brief more by maybe having it not so much revolve around him being uh, like harassed by yeah. this group, who are supposedly this group, but we could yeah. have just had it of him being like, him doing it to himself because of news headlines. Like, I don't know, you could have included some like Gaza, Israel well, that's, stuff, that, and that's he becomes what like a that's, that's, like, that's what the original plan was. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, as in work, we could have worked with that to we fit the We could have made that more. into a decent story rather than just going, what we had wasn't a good but, story. Uh, Nick was very it. persuasive. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, it was, He persuaded yeah. us. But I think our original idea was a lot more here and now, but we just changed it yeah. in, in order to have a better story rather than. Yeah, yeah, more, more entertaining yeah. story. Um, and wasn't it supposed to be the proposal as well? was completely different uh, from the, the end, the end product. But that's that's also awesome. just because it wasn't. We, it was supposed to be a depressing, uneasy adventure, but it yeah. was not a depressing, uneasy adventure. It, it was uneasy at times, I reckon. Yeah. Like I reckon, after the the studio scene, like the, yeah. the dream and the the upside sequences back until. Yeah, I feel like after like after like the minute mark, it's sort of not uneasy, but like it's something. Yeah, it's you something there. It. Yeah, so it's not like like bland. There's more ten. There was not so yeah. much uneasy. There was a little bit of like tension, but I but I think that the original it was supposed to be depressing and easy, and yeah. the like concept we wrote on the we proposal document. We didn't really capture that. Did we? No. no. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's that's just down to like planning. 
that's kind of down to shots as well, and also editing though. So it's down to a it's bit of everything that is, and also the acting. No, I'd say, lie. wouldn't it be more? Com- I think we would have been able to stick with one idea had we been more communicative. I think we were quite. You know, we so were. I but think like, I think we talked quite thoroughly. Yeah, but as in like we could have like com- I, I don't know. Yeah. We should have just. I think we should have just picked an idea, yeah. worked on it, and when we say it's done, it's done, and not I, try I to make it fit what we want like, to do. That's, that's what we did do, but like we showed it to the tutors, and they would pick out these bits where it could just be better. So we just went with what they told yeah. us. Like the ending now is Emma's. Yeah, that was Emma's. I think that, I think that was a good idea then. Yeah. No, well, no, I'm not saying they're bad ideas, but I think it kind of negatively affected our film down the line because. We, hadn't, we didn't. It wasn't like we. Yeah. It wasn't our. Th- it wasn't really our idea, so we didn't really know all the nooks and crannies of the idea. And it mm. is like when you just add things on top of stories and try and change it. Like like I said, it does just. Yeah, I remember adding the end story. of the. Anyway. <laughs> Don't worry. Anyway. But yeah. Um. Well, uh, I think, in terms of roles. Yeah. So what was your role and duties doing this project? Uh, I was a lighting man and the clapper man. Yes. And my lighting was uh, was pretty poor because I didn't pay attention to what was being seen on camera and more so imagined it in my actual head because I didn't want to get in your way. Yeah. But I don't know, it seems silly to have done that. I should have... Uh, I think that's also about my part we should communicate. Do you feel though, in, in the studio, the lighting wasn't like a. No, the, the lighting was good, but it could have been better. Yeah, but I think yeah. if we wanted better light, I think we would have had to plan how we lit each scene. No, there was like, uh, there's just like times and stuff mean, like, like the shot the shot with the boom shadow and the the sometimes there's shadows over Thomas's face as he walks into shot, just things like that. Had I paid attention to the screen on the camera, but. It would have been uh, better, but because there's like so many people I didn't know in a room, many of them being girls, and you know I'm like terrified of women. <laughs> that I was just there, like a uh, uh, clapperboard. Yeah, I was yeah. just focusing on the clapperboard, and then I didn't really want to go near anyone. It's definitely so when you two could like just like collaborate it on, like if if Seth sees, I, I feel like you did do that. Like if Seth saw somebody didn't like. It didn't yeah, look I quite would, right. Would, you, you would, would, it would, like he was getting think, you to light. I it. think I get you. You want, you want for like every shot to end up lighting. Yeah. Is that what you're on about? No, um, not yeah. every shot, but like, lot, like not so much every shot, but like more so. I look yeah, at the yeah. camera. I'm like, okay, bam, bam, yeah. put like here, a uh, little like, dim one here. You stand there, so you're not shadow, and then yeah. we do it. Yeah, like you find stuff rather than. But I was just like, oh, yeah, I was just bickering with you, and then like writing down stuff on the clapperboard. Which was not good. Yeah, I think I was just like really locked into like the actual the shots and the filming, so I wasn't really concentrating if anything was coming into the shot or anything. I was just focused if I had a nice looking Free shot, stuff. which I guess, yeah. which I guess next time I, I need to try and pay attention to. That's not really details. your job though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I was kind of I don't know. I tried to take it upon myself to like tell people what to do. Yeah, but I, th- I don't know. We should all have shared that responsibility. I think we did. I think I definitely told people what to do. Yeah. Um, I think because it was just awkward because they were all new people, yeah. and like, because like some of the directions were less directions than them not being experienced actors. Yeah. So with um, Owen went like or Thomas where we were telling him to do stuff and like we had to tell him like four times but he just couldn't do it yeah like i don't think that was like us not being good directors yeah well i think we could have been better but i think it was like uh, yeah i think yeah experience and talent i think i remember as well that we are also amateur filmmakers so i think it's probably both parts but yeah in terms of a sound do you think there's anything that like could have gone better with Um, you harvey yeah what was your job harvey yeah i I was sound operating um Personally, I think I did a good job. One thing was I was getting the shadow in some shots, but I wasn't being told that I was getting the shadow in some shots. It was only in like one. Yeah, I think it was only, I think, yeah, it was only one visible one. But I think we needed to clap for each one because like we we had like uh, problems in the edit afterwards because yeah. we just had to guess like when in the shot list which shot was which. Yeah. Because well, some that, of them we didn't clap. But no. apart from that, I don't think there was any sound issues apart from. Yeah. You, uh, I don't think so. Though. No, I don't. Think I don't. So. I don't think Maybe. So. And then we had to record some sound afterwards, but that 
which took a few attempts, but that was... Yeah, that was, that was nothing. That was, yeah, like it didn't affect production or anything. Well, was yeah. there anything in terms of planning that you think you could have done better to, I don't know, avoid the issue no. with the Zoom on the day when we came? No, I think that like it was just like was just messed up. Rogue like, event. Even Emma, like, yeah, like Emma didn't know what to do for it and like it took her a while to fix it. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like that was just... Like, you can't really pl- I mean, you can plan for it, but... And the sound map as we well. To, I should yeah. have sent you the sound map and we could have done that on the day, perhaps. I think um, with the, um, like, the clapperboard as well, like, that was mostly on the second filming day with... Weird, yeah. the battery well, like, other problems yeah and that's kind of my fault for filming 4k because it was just like absolutely i think it's not it's not so much the 4k i think it's just the camera rinses the battery i think yeah it's a camera but also the, the filming does, in 4k definitely yeah. rinses it even more um but i think as the day was progressing we were hearing less and less about like the shots and even like kind of like the clapboard and stuff because we were just like working with daylight and i think that was also another thing messed up because we didn't even get all the shots that we wanted on the second day did we yeah i should have uh, spent more time i don't know sometimes i just forget to write change the clapperboard yeah. i think we were all stressed, like pretty stressed as well on the second day because we were like oh yeah i had to run back to college i had to literally like run back well not run but i drove back to college to get more batteries and then they weren't charged and then yeah it was just all a bit so we were really under time yeah. time constraints and then when we went to film outside all the bloody school kids were coming out <laughs> but yeah, yeah awesome. that's that's just like that's just unlucky, and we we should have planned better for that realistically. Um, mm. And I think w- it, when we were starting to kind of get like not nervous, we just like get overwhelmed. We should have just carried going on with the shots and the and the um, and the clapping boards because obviously that would have helped you in the edit with sound. Yes. With like connecting the sound and the the video. Indeed. And as well, it wouldn't. I think the the narrative might be more co- co- uh, cohesive because if we got all the shots, yeah, yeah, we could have portrayed the the film through how it was meant to be portrayed. But yeah. here's what it is: us for next time, just to really get the plan in. Uh, what did you contribute to the development of this project, and what did you Let's look up do well? Know. What could have done better? What could, yeah. Um, so it, I think I contributed like the, the original like, skeleton of the idea where like it was the like sort of like mad news presenter, and then we, we sort of sort of like built off that idea yeah. and like how should we develop the I script. Think, uh, yeah, the I think yeah, I think we all contributed quite yeah. equally to the script. To be honest, I think we that was all like we all sat down, we all did that yeah. together. I think that was good. So we were all on the same like we all knew what we were doing. We all kind of had we were on the same wavelength. Um, I contributed. I did like the shot list and such. Um, yeah, I think another issue with the film is I forgot to do an order of shots, um, which is my bad. I literally just completely forgot until the day of, and I was like, I think I'm missing something here. Um, but yeah, if well next time around, I obviously would do the order of shots um, properly. I did I, I did like a quick one like a few nights before. It was like the I ordered the shots in what days we were doing it. So like I had like all the studio shots like lined out. But then I didn't actually order them in a sense of like where the camera positioned and so forth. But um, that's yeah. also something that I can uh, improve on next time. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, uh, I tried to help contribute to uh, the technical aspects of the film with yeah. the sound map and the shot list, but I made a draft for the shot list. Yeah. And Although I, that was seems to have just been a waste. That was just yeah. a waste of time in hindsight. Next time I should just uh, let the camera go. I do the shot yeah. list entirely. I just completely forgot it. To be honest, I was just on the the iPad. right side of yeah. the Excel document. <laughs> And the storyboards, uh, I could did all the uh, the storyboards yeah, thing the storyboards was uh, yeah. what I contributed to, but they should have been um, drawn out by hand maybe and uh, brought in so they could actually be referenced on the day because they were mostly forgotten about. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I did more of the technical. I tried to stay with the technical. I think you stuff. did all the casting as well, which I think you were oh, you yeah. were like the backbone of the <coughs> of the pre-production. Yeah, you did all the pre-production. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. But uh, 
uh, work. I should have uh, focused more on my role with Lighten and having, even though I did the casting, I'm not a very good like team player, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, Sorry, you I lost my train I was not a good team player. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, you, you helped out a lot massively with the casting, didn't you? Like, I, we were all, we were all like, we were talking about the casting, mm-hmm. but then you were the one that actually went off and sent the casting call to. Uh, a bunch of Facebook groups. I think, uh, uh, like going forward, I would. Uh, I don't know. I should just focus more on my responsibilities. Like I, I had, I don't know. I'd have. I should have. I should give myself less, and pay more attention to the yeah. qual- quality, not quantity. Yeah. And then we can share it more equally, or like go step by step, yeah. as opposed to just all at once. For yeah. the pre-production, I, I sort of like took the back seat. Like I think I did the location wrecking risk is that's what but then I sort of just like spoke to you boys whenever you wanted like a, a like a second opinion on things I was sort of like the CDM yeah. of, I think the, uh, of the pre-production a proper location like not saying that your location wrecky was bad but it, like yeah. the, what you did was like, just to like put it on the yeah, padlet it yeah, wasn't we actually didn't speak uh, about like where we were actually going to film <laughs> it wasn't it. It actually it was just like, yeah. like is this near Seth's house? you must trip on yeah. the stairs yeah. in yeah. Seth's yeah. house yeah. like me I think like when I was in the storyboards you were doing the I was doing the uh, shot list and you do the storyboards. I yeah. think we have to communicate to that because, mm. like, obviously you didn't like yeah, I wasn't you, could, you in your couldn't head. you couldn't yeah imagine some of the shots. So I think we worked together with that, which made it a little bit more cohesive. Obviously, because you just did that. Uh, if, if I were if I were in your position, I I was thing, unfamiliar though. with the way you were writing the storyboards. If I was in your position, I would have written them differently. The, so the shot list. Yeah, it's yeah. just like the way I don't know. You'd like. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah like it, was it, was, it was a lot like it was very personal. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. And I think next, next time I would try and make it more. No, it's generic. fine. It's just yeah. like I need. I don't know. I need a way of like translating to like Seth language. Or, yeah. So. That's my bad. Uh, but yeah. By the way, I'd like to go back to the question before because I did not say my role. I was the the camera <laughs> operator on the on for the production and. Um, what do you think? I feel I thought I, I I did a pretty good job. I thought the shots were all nice. Um, uh, the shots were nice, but as the I camera operator, it should have been your responsibility to know more about the camera and get the better batteries. Yeah. Uh, the I think mean, there was more. like just like like little like necks you could improve yeah. on, like though like I just stick into the shot list as one. Well. Yeah, I think that was. I want to stick to the shot list though. But like that, like there was like a, like those, those side angle shots. They were like. Sort of like a waste of time, if you get me. Yeah, but I, like, I, I feel like it was also important, in my eyes anyway, just to get those shots for the edit. Just and I feel like but the, now the edit is lacking some of those shots. Well, you, we could use them, but it's just the fact that the green screen. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like cut off the green screen. Yeah. But anyway, um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Obstacles. What obstacles did we face? Camera. Yeah, it's like a camera, yeah, so... The camera batteries died that. on us twice, and the charger no killed was. itself. Yeah, sure. Nothing happened to the charger. Oh, nothing happened to yeah, the charger. Was, like, the, um, the charger, like, it, when you plugged it into it, the It wasn't working. It was like, it was, the, charger the, wasn't, the charger wasn't more, working, yeah. so when I came... Because I had to drive back into college on just a random... What was it? Was it Wednesday, Thursday, I think? Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah. Because our batteries had ran out, and we were doing external shots. So we couldn't hook it up just to external power. Um, the battery pack that I got wasn't working properly, so none of the batteries only had like thirty percent each on them. So nice. that didn't help either. Um, yeah. Also, oh, another problem we had. I guess that that was quite a surprise in the edit. But I, I, when I was filming, what the last? It's been three odd shots, three five shots. The first day. Oh yeah, you yeah, filmed them in slow day. motion. Yeah, I filmed them. Um, I don't know how I must have. Well, I was doing something in the but set. That's not actually an obstacle because yeah. in the edit. Or yeah, well, we fi- well, it was an obstacle at the time because I, I, well, I didn't know if we could fix it in the edit, but obviously. Yeah, it was fine. Did, Just so speed it up. Um, but that was caused by, uh, like, we should have been paying more attention to the equipment that we were in charge of, I yeah. suppose, and like, yeah. for, I don't know, say for Harvey's boom problems and for my uh, lack of attention to the light and then the the fifty percent speed funny business yeah I, well I think as well like especially like as we get to the end of the day because in your guys eyes we were running later than planned I I knew we were going to like run late in the day but you guys thought like we were going to finish about two was the, was the proposed time 
Oh, we end up finishing at four, no, was it? No, four was the proposed time, but we finished at six. No, on for the studio day. Oh, studio day, yeah. That was, I think, proposed to, two, finished we finished at like finished four. four. Yeah. Um, so everyone was kind of rushing towards the end, which then, like, I, I, I vividly remember, like, oh, just come here, we'll do a shot quickly, yeah. blah, 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 let me just set it above, whatever. Um, and I think that's kind of what caused the 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 speed issue mm. um because like i didn't have time to check over the camera didn't have time to check if everything was okay because i was just like okay problem we had but i guess that's, that was quite a surprise in the edit but I, I, when i was filming what the last it's been three odd shots three five shots the first day oh yeah you yeah, filmed them in the slow day. motion yeah i filmed them i don't know how i must have well i was doing something in the same that's not actually an obstacle yeah. because in the edit or yeah, well, we it was an obstacle at the time because I, I, well, I didn't know if we could fix it in the edit, but obviously no, it was fine. Did, Just so speed it up. Um, but that was caused by, uh, like, we should have been paying more attention to the equipment that we were in charge of, I yeah. suppose. And like, yeah. for, I don't know, if, say for Harvey's boom problems and for my uh, lack of attention to the light and then the the fifty percent speed, funny business. Yeah, I, well, I think as well, like, especially like as we get to the end of the day, because in your guys' eyes, we run later than. Planned. I I knew we were gonna like run late in the day, but you guys thought like we were gonna finish what two was the was the proposed time, but we ended up finishing at four. No, was it? No, four was the proposed time, but we finished at six. No, on for the studio day. Oh, studio day. Yeah. That was I think proposed two. We finished at like finished four. four. Yes. Um. So everyone was kind of rushing towards the end, which then, like I I, I vividly remember just like oh just come here, we'll do a shot quickly, yeah. blah 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 blah. Let me just set up our whatever. Um, and I think that's kind of what caused the 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 speed issue, mm. um, because like I didn't have time to check over the camera, didn't have time to check if everything was okay, because I was just like, okay, let's get going, um, and the same thing with the next day as well, but that was also to do with the batteries. Yeah. So yeah. I think like it was just the, like the batteries uh... slowed the production down, which then rushed us at the end, which then made. Just like not the, shoot some like yeah. some of the shots. It was just like the thought. domino effect. Yeah. So the was, batteries were dodgy, so then we had to change where we were shooting and when we were shooting. And it's like it went from shoot this, shoot this, shoot this yeah. to just shoot what we can at any given time. And yeah. then like eh, problems just came. It's like it was dark, we were shot outside again. It was a rush hour. Yeah, but that kind of ties into the like uh, disorganisation as well because yeah, we weren't. Exactly. We had no idea what we were doing on either filming days. I think. Uh, in hindsight, like we had the teams meeting with the cast, we should have had another, well, or even just like a discussion on Snap about like where, when, what we're doing. Because we came to the shots and we weren't all on the same, but to shoot some of you. Especially in the studio, I've had the actors, like um, I saw Robin on the train, she was telling me about like how it was funny that we were just like <laughs> bickering with each other <laughs> on the set. So had we been more organised and uh, perhaps um, gone through some more extensive planning to do with how we were going to go about doing our roles on the day, we would have uh, been able to stick to the schedule because we didn't end up sticking to the schedule, like you said. I think we got to cut ourselves some slack, though, because this is, like, the first project... Pro like, this is the first project that we properly even had yeah. a script, yeah, well. had actors used... Like, that was the first time I was using the Black mm. Magics, really. I was, Oh, well, no, I, well, I used them before as well, but it's like a, I don't know, for me, it was like, yeah. This no. First time shooting a film on the, Yeah, shooting a film. And that led to the um, problems in editing because I was, uh, yeah. I don't know anything about 4K, uh, the process of shooting and editing in 4K, and yeah. that didn't help. Yeah, and that's also kind of my bad. I, I, in, when I was like first shooting, I was just like, oh, yeah. Let's do it in higher, higher. No, that's higher fine. Graphics. The thing is, that is fine. It's but me I, who didn't. No, no, it's no because I didn't but think. Your eyes lit up I, when you saw four K. Yeah, I, I didn't think about the after effects I would have on the edit. I was just in the moment like, oh, let's film in four K, yeah. bang in. Um, yes, being like, we've been using these cameras for so long. We're like deprived of like high tech yeah. equipment. So. <laughs> yeah. But when we got our hands on it, and like, I think this was the first project where we got to use those cameras. Yeah, yeah, it was. So it was just like, yeah, we were just like blinded by the quality. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that's another thing, like, vision down the yeah. line, we didn't really have 
their vision, I guess. Like, I didn't think about the consequences of the film in 4K would have on the editing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think I think we had what we I think what well, well I'd be like anyway what we need to do next time is just we have the plan but then we also have to have like plan B for stuff yeah, that's going to go wrong because yeah. we didn't have anything of that and then stuff went wrong and we were just like yes on the day running like headless chickens and just yes and yeah. uh, uh, in future I'll make sure that I understand more about the actual technology I'm using and like the editing yeah process. But yeah, how did you fellas develop your professional skills over the course of the um the project? Yeah. Um, I think we just learned on the job because this is my first time leading people. I was not really a director, but co-directed and like just giving pointers where I could. Yeah. So it, for yeah, for me, it was just learning on the job, like trying to play up to the role. Where like you, yeah, you just had to sort of like try and stay on the ball and make sure you were doing your job yeah. correctly and telling people this, 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 this. Yeah, because they're they're amateurs as well, so they didn't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, and I'm sure for some of them, this is their first time being in like a set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, probably would could be said for all three of us. Sorry, I'm lost my train of thought for a sec. But uh, like we. I don't know, I've never directed anyone, like you said. Yeah. I think we've all developed our directing skills and being able to manage people through like communication and commanding people, yeah. commands like do this, do that. And so that's something I'd, I'd never imagined doing before this project. And I could also say that uh, I definitely developed my group work skills. Yeah. Because although we've worked in a group before, uh, there was a, a definitely more collaborative stuff going on between us this project. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I I I've, I've been a director for I think one or two projects before, but it's like with people in your class, and it's just. That's not the same. And it's not the same because yeah. you like it's not. I it wasn't the same level of professionalism at the same time put in as this project. So I think yeah, that was a. Yeah, so that was different. It wasn't a bad thing, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was a good experience. But also, I haven't really been on camera that much on the actual projects. I don't think I've, I think I've, I, I was filming for the one project, but having another go at the camera, I don't know, I found it really fun. So and it was just good. I definitely, I, I, I definitely improved my skills, I feel like, over the project on the camera, 100%. Just with the shot selection, with, well, all through the process, I think, with the slot, slot, shot selection, just, uh, I don't know, just overall, really. I don't, I don't think I really improved my skills. I sort of just exercised what we'd yeah. already done before, because, like, the boom is straightforward. Yeah, yeah. It, like, yeah, choosing a boom mic is pretty straightforward, and then I'll, I'll let you take the wheel in terms of directing. So, yeah, it yeah. wasn't like I didn't have to step up much at, or improve much. It was just using what we'd already learned in a couple of workshops and like from year one. Mm. Indeed, I also think uh, you could argue that we, all three of us improved on our problem solving skills yeah. while yeah. filming because we had to uh, adapt to the circumstances that led to our batteries dying. Oh yeah, well I remember, well, I, I remember that I was like the batteries are dead, go back to the house where we were filming the interior shots and um, Gay hooked up to external and I'll drive down to Kavak, get those shots done and then when I get back we'll go back out and that's what we did which is good because that was literally like in the span of what, yeah. two minutes that we thought of that plan. Um, so yeah, no, I agree with you I think our um, problem solving skills definitely developed. Um, yeah, yeah, in hindsight, like you said, we need to ensure that we have backup plans for whatever we're doing.